All right, check it out, guys. They got some new batteries in there from Noiposi, as you can see there. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and pop this open. We're gonna dump the contents out and show you what's in it. Uh, we got a multi charger. Connect up to six batteries via USB. And uh, we also got some batteries here. Let's see. 3.7 volt, 850 mAh. I don't know if you could read that. They have this red connector. But they also hook you up with a bunch of these wires. What are these wires for? Well, if you have this connection, which is a more common connection than the red tubular connection, um, you could just go ahead and stick this on. Then to that, bam and then you run that connection. So these batteries will work for the red connection and they also hooked you up with these where you can run off the white connection. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get these tested. Again, 850 mAh, 3.7 volt LiPo batteries. We're gonna do a dry run without charging one of these. Then we're gonna get one of these charged, throw it in a, throw it in a quad and see what the time is. All right, check it out guys. This is a Quadrone tumbler, and we are going to stick one of these batteries in it without it being charged. And we're going to pop this open, and I don't know if you can see here, try to get that up there. See that connection there? It is not one of the red tubular ones. So all we're going to do, we're going to take one of these, again, right out of the package. This isn't charged. This is a pre-charge RTF right out of the box. This will let you know if you order these, how much flight time you can expect right out of the box. And again, it's not that connection. So we're just going to take one of these wires they hooked us up with, and we are going to push it in, bam. Now guess what? Now it is the proper connection. So what we're going to do here is we are going to slide this 850 mAh battery from Noiposi in here, and then we are going to connect it. Actually, we're going to connect it first, and then we're going to slide it in. So let's see. Bam. Oop. Try again. There we go. Then we're going to put this in here. We're going to tuck these wires here. We're going to close this. And we're going to go ahead and get this binded. We can get that binded on camera. Which all we do is we turn our controller on. We're going to throttle up and down hear the beep it's ready to go so we're going to take this outside right now this is an uncharged flight then we'll do a charged flight and i'll let you know what you can get out of the box and what you can get max time 41 degrees out five mile an hour wind this is the uncharged battery and uh, we're going to consider this a mildly aggressive flight because the direction i'm flying into is the direction the wind is blowing against so i'm flying directly into five mile an hour wind which is going to work the motors which is going to draw the battery life down quicker so whatever the end result is if you are flying in less wind you can probably expect to get a little bit more added time maybe a half a minute to a minute because again flying directly into five mile an hour wind here and it's working the motors harder the motors have to work harder i have to pitch harder i am in the third speed if you're not flying in any type of wind and you're in a first speed with this drone, you're going to get a longer flight time. Again, probably a half minute to a minute, minute and a half, minute and a half max of whatever this end time is. All right, guys, I'm going to stop Jabber John here and pipe in some music for you. Enjoy. And then uh, after this, we'll definitely get a fully charged battery in it and we'll test how long that goes. <laughs>
right, guys, we're about four minutes and 45 seconds here. The lights are blinking. We're going to bring this down. So just about shy of five minutes, you're going to get an uncharged battery. All right, guys, the dry run, which was this battery here, non-charged, got about five minutes. So now I have this battery. This is the charged one. This is non-charged one. I'm going to stick the charged one in it, and I still have two spares here that I haven't taken out of the package. We're going to put this in the tumbler, see what type of full time we get. And I'm using the same drone just for quality testing, um, kind of like a quality controlled test. Just because if I were to use a different drone and use a charged battery, I might get a ridiculous time. I might get a less time. So we're doing a quality control here. Both of these non-charge and charge were done on the tumbler. So if you have the tumbler, this is what you can expect. If you have something along the SEMA X5 series, a clone, Quadrone Pro Cam, something along those lines, you could probably expect to get these results and she's in there we're gonna bend this down and you also must understand that uh, I'm starting these inside for you the lights are on the lights are blinking I'm killing battery right now as I'm talking and we're gonna go ahead and get this binded turn it on throttle up then down you'll hear a beep then lightly up again we're ready to go we're going to take this outside. This is going to be the fully charged test. Whatever I get on this is what you can expect to get with your average toy grade uh, quad. Anything from like Quadrone Tumbler, which this is, Quadrone Pro Cam, your SEMA X5, uh, a lot of your JGRC models. Whatever this is getting, you can expect to get very close to that. All right, we're going to go ahead and take this outside. All right, guys, we're outside with the fully charged battery. Still got the 5 mile an hour wind, still 41 degrees. So keep that in mind. If you have no wind, you can probably add a half minute to a minute and a half, depending on how hard you fly the drone. This drone is going to be flown pretty hard because I have a 5 mile an hour wind. And again, like I said before, that draws more power from your battery quicker. But again, I'm not going to jabber jaw here with these. These are time tests. Uh... I have a caption at the bottom at the end and that's what time you could expect to get these and I'll pipe in more music here for you. Enjoy.